So today we're in Waverley Railway Station, which is in Edinburgh. So as I say, we're in Edinburgh and this is Waverley Railway Station. We're going to have a look around. So platform 1 to 18. Also they've got a lift there, you can go up that lift and I think you go you get off of Princess Street which is one of the major shopping areas in the city centre. And so it says there platforms 2 to 4. And there it is. Edinburgh Waverley Railway Station. So I'll just have a little walk around there. So down there you've got Marks and Spencer's, Cafe Nero, and you can get out onto the main streets. And this is also the main part of the railway station. There you've got a ticket office, waiting room, and uh, a cash machine, and the seating area. It's also got MS Food or Burger King. Interesting ceiling, and you've got a ticket machine. Believe it or not, you've got a ticket office. A ticket machine, and you've got some sort of ticket office there, which is open. There's your machines. So we go we'll go through the, at this door. This is the main body of the station. And that is the ceiling there. Which is amazing really, isn't it? If we can go down there and I'll film a bit of the trains, eh? Some people are interested in the trains, they do train spotting, take the numbers and things. So let's have a look at the trains. There they are. Quite modern trains, aren't they? These ones. London King's Cross. Have a little peek inside. So let me see that the inside. USB ports. There. Got wireless. Toilets there. So there it is, London King's Cross. It's a long train that isn't it? Let's have a look at the, the roof of the building. I'm always amazed at roofs. So well, maybe the um, time you get to the end of the line. <laughs> the song by the Traveling Wilbur is that. Not there, but it stops everywhere under the sun. Peterborough. Peterborough. Huh? That's the button on the door will open. I don't think you've seen it, so 
a huge train. It's got nobody on it actually. That's bizarrely bizarre, isn't it? There's hardly anybody on the train. It seems to go on forever. Come on, get off you motherfucker. Oh, sorry, move train. Oh, there it is, Edinburgh, Edinburgh Waverley Station. I presume it's got hardly any people on it, but as it goes along the way, it picks up more passengers. And it's going to go to Newcastle, York, Doncaster, Peterborough, Darlington. Uh, it's going a long way. They are London Kings Cross. So you can't even smoke on the station. I don't smoke, but years ago you used to be able to smoke. These are things what um, they use if you've got a wheelchair, they put them against the train and they push the wheelchair on them so they can get down. You know, so the step of the train follow me. So I have no idea what time this train goes. They are. Goodbye, I love you. Good news again. There's the guy with his um, thing, you know. What time does this train go? Sorry? What time does this train go? Six. So he's saying it goes at six, well it's quarter to, so we're not going to hang around for that one, eh? Which way are we going to go now? Line of passengers assistance. So I presume that goes back into the waiting room, which it does. A nice entrance, that isn't it? No wonder they use railway stations when it's like a disaster because they're so big and they can fit so many people here. There's a left luggage, you know, so you can leave your case there while you go exploring the town. Contract sign point. Excess baggage company where they're selling cases. Photo me. So, I mean, remember those machines, you got a little photo. Now people can do all this on the phone, can't they? Photo ID, Marks and Spencer Foods, National Express, there you can rent a vehicle. Cafe Nero, buy an expensive cup of coffee. Some people like it. And some people sitting in there. They all look very bohemian, don't they? That's it. That is the entrance to the main street, which is uh, Princess Street. We're going to go out to a little side street and have a look at the police car. Scottish police car. You wouldn't want to be in one of them, but then 
really would you like to be in any police car? Yeah. So you better tow the line. So. There they are. I don't know what the difference between that police car and the Russian one is, or a Welsh one.